Leonardo AI comes out with another game-changing update and new feature. It's called Motion, and it is awesome and impressive. Introducing Motion, our cutting-edge new feature to revolutionize your process with one-click generative video. So any image that you create can now be brought to life. And we have an amazing prompt generator for you. And of course, this video would not be complete unless I gave you guys an amazing prompt generator. This one was crafted specifically for motion. Now we're going to get eight immediate prompts that we can use specifically for this new feature. You'll love it. What this prompt generator will do is create beautiful looking and highly unique images to get the most out of Leonardo AI motion that will surely stand out to the human eye. Okay, so here we are on my Leonardo AI image generator page right now and if you take a closer look you can see that flower is just generating perfectly look at this right here and I have to be honest with you I'm pretty impressed with some of these images that I'm getting again phenomenal job especially with the gradient lights in the background stemming off of her head she has good movement and then you can even notice the waves of her hair moving beautifully and then we'll take things a bit further with some really cool creativity but the way that this prompt generated this sort of image did a fantastic job because with that subtle movement you almost get lost in the glow of her hair and then her eyes but where this really shines are going to be the scenery landscape type prompts or images that you'll get with this prompt generator too for thousands of prompts click the links in the description and then again for those that have more of a close-up shot portrait style where there's a close-up image like this ninja turtle right here you're going to want to make sure that you adjust the movement speed to on the lower end because if you put it on the higher end you're going to get some results that are a little bit too jumpy this is my mega prompts database and this one is specifically for leonardo ai but it's going to be so incredibly helpful because what i like about this is that i can look at this gallery view right here and then think to myself okay this image I want to create this sort of image of this lady with this black background or I want to hover over this one that I'm looking at right now but these are the sort of images that you'll be getting with this prompt generator watch your ideas come to life in moments with generative video this is amazing let's go ahead and then click on this revolutionize your process with one click generative video and that's all you have to do literally all you have to do is go to a previously created image click one button and then automatically it's going to generate movement for you okay so now once I find one let me go ahead and then just click on this flower right here here we go the captivating display of photoluminescence so here is the prompt that I made to create this beautiful looking bioluminescent photoluminescence flower now all you have to do is just open up your photo and then just simply select one button image to motion and then just like that here is the image so same exact prompt same image Albedo Base XL, everything's the same, except now for this one, it's actually in motion. I can click to expand it, and then here you go. So it went from a still image, still beautiful, still photoluminescence, and now I have my own video. And now all you have to do to download it is just simply click on this download button that says MP4. It's as simple as one click. Now again, like I said before, you can make any image that you've already generated move by just simply clicking one button. But how do we take full advantage of this with some very unique prompts, prompts that are really going to stand out to the human eye and really have some unique movements in the background just like this one right here or this one of this gradient background let's go ahead and dive in to this actual prompt generator and then watch it in action okay to start this prompt i simply just use chat gpt 3.5 that works out perfectly for me it's faster and it gets it right almost every time so here is the long prompt that you're going to type in now don't worry i'll actually share this prompt with you with the link in my description to a page on my website once i paste this prompt in chat gpt quickly answers me and then I just simply have to give it one number and based off of that number it's going to know exactly what sort of prompt the actual style or the lighting I want and then I'm going to give it a subject and then instantly just like that chat GPT every single time will give me eight prompts that I can use specifically for that description and that subject so the first thing you want to do is just open up a chat and now I'm going to go over here to my prompt generator right here I'm going to go ahead and then copy the whole entire prompt so chat GPT yes I understand your request Please provide me with the style you'd like for the prompt, and once you've done that, I'll ask you for the subject or topic. Once I have both the style and the subject, I'll generate eight different variations of the prompt for you. So it starts with ethereal style, and then it ends with Fortnite style. This one is one long one right here. Glowing pastel, purple, phosphorescent, simple silhouette, black background. That's going to be one style. So there's going to be eight in total. So let's just go ahead and then just put in number one, and then simply just type in your subject. And I'll make this as simple as possible. 
I'm just gonna type in lion. So the number one and then lion. Immediately, I get eight prompts. Create an ethereal scene with a majestic lion stands on a glowing, mist-covered cliff. All the way down to number eight, imagine an ethereal lion as the guardian of an ancient enchanted forest. You could ask it to continue giving you more and more prompts of the same time. And now check out some of these images I made using ethereal. And since we have eight to choose from, I'll quickly just show you eight images right now, and I'll show you from one to eight what sort of image that you'll get from this prompt generator. If you want to stay within the same chat window, you just can't simply say one, two, three, four again, because when you do that, it's gonna still give you an ethereal sort of style. So what you wanna do is just say one thing very simple. Please start the process over again. Go ahead and hit enter. ChatGPT will acknowledge that, and then here's the thing that now works even better. Once I say, let's start the process over again, now you can see it auto-numbered the actual prompt styles. Ethereal style, bioluminescence, cinematic, electroluminescent, all the way down to number eight, Fortnite style. Whenever you say, please start the process over again, now it's gonna actually number the styles, what sort of description is affiliated with each image. So then I just typed in number three, which is cross-referenced with cinematic style. And here is my actual subject, a woman in a dystopian city. And that's all you have to do. Hit enter. And now look at this. Now we're going to get eight immediate prompts that we can use. So all you have to do next in Leonardo AI is just head on over and just paste this prompt. Here is my favorite fine-tuned model almost every single time now. I always love to stay in Albedo Base XL almost every single time. And most most times I have it on dynamic, but in this case, since we're creating a cinematic scene, let's just simply change that to cinematic. Now that we have that done, let's change our dimensions to more of a YouTube thumbnail style. While that's thinking, let's go back over and try one more. So again, I'm going to tell ChatGPT, please start the process over again. And then here it is. It's going to auto number it again. And this time I'll select number seven, that long, weird looking one. And then I'll just type in one word again. I'll just type in woman. And then immediately we're going to get eight prompts. Okay. Now the ChatGPT is doing that one, let's go back to the one we just posted, the cinematic scene, and then here it is right here. This is pretty incredible. That is the cinematic scene. Now next, all you have to do to get this movement going is over here, just select this one button, generate motion video. Simply click on it. Now once you click on it, you'll want to make sure the motion strength usually stays in the middle. But for scenes like this, I'm going to make it a little bit less, and then I'll hit generate. As you can see, it's going to be 25 tokens to generate, but a lot of times if you get this right, it's going to be worth it. While we're waiting on that, let's go back over to ChatGPT and then look at this other one that we had create for number seven. This is going to be the phosphorescent style, okay? We're going to head back over to Leonardo AI and now generate this image. This time, Albedo Base XL and I'll select dynamic and now hit generate. So now we have two things being generated at the same time. Once they're done, we'll take a look at what these can do. Okay, so it looks like our cinematic image one is done. Here is the movement one. And then here is the still image one down here. Let me go ahead and select it. Open this up. Look at that. This did a pretty remarkable job. Let's X out of here and then see what it created for the phosphorescence one. Okay. Look at this right here. There we go. This one looks pretty cool. I love the uniqueness of it. When I did this same exact prompt earlier, you could see how it made this one look right here. This looks fantastic. Try this prompt generator out and tell me what you guys think. So thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll You'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.